from NBC News. This is Today with Katie Couric and Matt Lauer. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Also, Mike Leonard will take us to Las Vegas, but not to gamble, rather to go to the ventriloquist convention. convention. No, you no. were supposed to One talk, you should have been I was supposed I to be the ventriloquist. Because I couldn't do it. One of you well. should have been drinking a glass of water while you did that. <laughs> Let's try it again. Where's he taking us? Ventriloquist convention. All right, who's the dummy? <laughs> <laughs> Too close to call. It was just me dead, because if I was doing that, well, you, you didn't were put talking. your hand behind my back. I'm not! Okay. Mr. Also Leonard. Mike Leonard. <laughs> Leonard? Okay. Leonard. Mike Around Leonard. here we call him Lenny. Uh, and Mr. Roker will have a look at the weather, but first, these commercial messages. <laughs> Mike Leonard is up next, but first, this is Today on NBC. Every week here on Today, Leonard's Look gives our Mike Leonard a chance to examine another aspect of Americana. This morning, it's dummies. Maybe this was the wrong week to visit Las Vegas. The days were blowtorch hot, the streets woefully congested, and the people, the people. My, oh my, let me just say that never in my entire life have I been surrounded by so many dummies. Really? Well, la dee da See, it's funny, Mike. It's like a joke. Shut up. Welcome to the Imperial Palace Hotel and the 1998 Vegas Ventriloquist Convention. Why convention? How else to learn? This is the only way you can learn. Through formal lectures. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, got it out. Impromptu bull sessions. Yes, indeed. Or visits to the nearby Magic and Movie Hall of Fame, where curator Valentine Box graciously escorted me through the ventriloquist wing. Beginning with uh, Eric von Stroheim and the great Gabo. Loaded with fascinating historical artifacts. Pedro, the head in the box, of course, and Johnny, the talking hand. And educational interactive exhibits. Now say, hello, uh, how are you? Hello, how are you? That's good. Oh, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Okay. Uh, here, Piper, 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 Piper. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. See, it's close. The star guest lecturer of the four-day convention, attended by over 300 ventriloquists, had to be Jeff Dunham, 1998 Comedian of the Year, and a man I was dying to meet. He just seemed so, I don't know, nice. So what's your name? I didn't talk to you yet. Who, who the hell are you? Mike. Mike. How come they didn't send Katie out here? I want to talk to Katie. I thought I was going to talk to her. I got to talk to a guy named Mike. What the hell does Mike do? No one cares. Isn't it interesting how the dummy... Dummy? No offense, Jerry. Sorry, I forgot. I'm a mannequin American. Isn't it interesting how the mannequin American can really put someone down? Whereas I couldn't insult people without them, you know, being offended. Do you think people would say you're a funny guy if you didn't have this, this prop? Are you talking to him or me? Bergen or McCarthy? Where do they go during the commercials? <laughs> no, no. Winchell or Mahoney? That's it. That's it. That's it. Who do we direct the questions to about the history of a schizophrenic art that has baffled, entertained, and, yes, annoyed people for centuries? So right now we're wasting air time asking stupid technical questions. We could be telling jokes, Mike. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So cue the talking pig. So you ain't never seen a ventrilo pig before, huh, Mike? Lay on the shtick. You want me to say it backwards? Sure. Now, tell us how you really feel about being surrounded by all those ventriloquists. It's hard to say that, yeah. <laughs> Not if you let the dummy do the talking. Get me out of here. For today, Mike Leonard, NBC News, Las Vegas. <laughs> all right, now see if you can do it. You that did was a second so ago cute. without the goofy grin. Hi, okay. how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Hi, how you doing? I don't know what else to say. What That's do you think? Good. Everybody's good. tried to do that at some point in their life. Haven't Absolutely, they? Yeah. You try it. Oh, we're out of time. <laughs> we are, you know, you're we are out of time. <laughs> we're out of time. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.